have you guys learned anything, uh, any lessons from uh, from COVID? You, you were saying it's a good test. So uh, I guess what are the results? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, if, for one thing, I think I'll just start saying that, you know, this has been a little bit of a different environment. You know, I know ourselves as well as many of our, our lending uh, fund competitors, you know, most of us underwrite assuming we're going to go through you know, a downturn in the economy or a general recession, you know, none of us, um, you know, that I know of, you know, underwrote expecting a global shutdown. So it, it was definitely a different scenario that we went through. Um, you know, as far as lessons learned, um, I think there's quite a few, you know, or, or at least points that I can make that, uh, you know, that are, you know, can, can bring them up that might be insightful. Uh, you know, maybe first and foremost is, uh, you know, there was some chatter, you know, amongst, uh, you know, some people I talk with in the industry that, you know, there was a concern about a potential liquidity mismatch, meaning some private lending funds offering more liquidity than they have in the underlying strategies, you know, as a whole, meaning, you know, if they're putting out three year loans in the portfolio and offering monthly liquidity, you know, if they do see heightened redemptions, there's just no way they're going to meet those. Um, so that definitely became forefront, you know, within the crisis, uh, you know, redemptions in general in, in March and April were quite high, um, you know, some, you know, quite a number of funds did have to gate, you know, which gating is not bad, it's actually there to protect the unit holders, but it did uh, actually bring to the forefront, uh, you know, something that should be added to people's diligence list is, is you know, what kind of liquidity is the fund offering versus, you know, what kind of, uh, liquidity is actually in the underlying, you know, uh, loans that they're putting out. So it's just, you know, one added feature w with regards to not an investor standpoint, but from a lending business standpoint, um, it taught many lending funds and lending firms that, um, you know, we need to diversify our sources of capital. Um, you know, if, if we're reliant upon running an entire infrastructure or lending business upon one fund, that can be quite dangerous if there's, you know, essential run on the bank so um, you know it's something we thought about a little bit before the crisis but i can tell you that most lending firms are definitely out there trying to diversify their capital base uh, to prevent uh, you know uh, you know potential future issues like we saw in january or sorry in march and april when when redemptions were heightened um, with regards to more from an investment standpoint um, you know i think that um, you know experience of the credit team, you know, became paramount. Um, you know, your best defense going through a COVID situation is making sure that you actually underwrote those loans properly in the first place and had the proper, you know, checks and balances. So, so that was quite key. Uh, but going through a crisis as such, you know, you were running into issues, you know, throughout, you know, so it, we, we came through very well, you know, on, on this COVID issue, but, you know, we all ran into some issues with, with companies that we're working with. And uh, you needed to deal with those, you know, hands on and very quick. So having an experienced credit team, one, to, to do the work up front and two, to be there to make those decisions, sometimes, you know, in a, in a rapid fashion became very, very critical. Um, in addition to that, I would say that, um, you know, you, you really had to, the team had to adapt, you know, the credit team, the, the, the account monitoring team, everything like that. You know, we had to kind of change our way in which we were doing our day-to-day -day activities. You know, uh, regular meetings might have had to change to a daily or three times a week as opposed to once a week type fashion. You really needed to, you know, know your client, you know, better than you ever had. And, you know, you really need to have you know, really a pulse, you know, on, um, uh, on who you were lending to. Um, maybe the best way to explain that is to give you, you know, a few examples from, you know, what we had to do. Um, you know, in, you know, in January, you know, of this year when, you know, some, when, you know, COVID cases, you know, in Asia were starting to pick up, um, some of those facilities were starting to, um, you know, close down, um, you know, we, you know, we proactively reached out to all of our clients and our clients meeting, you know, businesses throughout North America that we provide lending capital towards and wanted to understand, you know, their, you know, their potential risks towards, um, you know, supply chain issues, things like that. Um, you know, as things continued to close down, you know, that got more and more in depth. You know, if you were having, you know, quarterly 
calls with management team where every two months, you know, that in some cases got to be weekly, um, you know, so you really had to adapt and change, um, you know, change your focus to make sure that you were on top of that uh, loan file, you know, inside and out. The, um, so that was, that was, that was quite key. Um, in some other instances, you know, our, our credit team, um, you know, went to, you know, our senior credit team, you know, went from uh, maybe, you know, meeting a few times a week uh, regarding situations uh, to meeting every single day, you know, at the end of every single day, whereby, um, you know, we were taking all the information, you know, from the field each day um, of the various different loans and, you know, sharing that with everyone else and having them actually make decisions, you know, in a vastly quicker fashion rather than, you know, waiting for that meeting to come up to bring it amongst the group. Um, I can tell you that those type of uh, those type of things definitely saved us a fair bit of capital. 